Good morning, everyone. This is Anand from Team Mami Boards. And in today's video, we are going to look at how one can insert the release notes widget directly inside of your web application or mobile application. Let's begin. Now, I've navigated to the automated release notes screen inside of the Jira. You'll notice I've also opened up the release pages and widgets section, or rather the tab. Let's first create a new widget. So we are going to do this video a bit more in detail than usual. So I'll explain the every step that's involved to get you there, right from how you embed this widget inside of your web or mobile application. So let's begin. Let's call this the dummy widget. We'll obviously name it something more appropriate in your case. The description is not going to be visible to the end user, neither the title. So you can just have it anything in there. Next section decides what's the widget content layout, right? So there is in, in title, we are utilizing version name in subtitle, there is version description. And then what information is displayed inside of that widget? You can pull out, let's say for Field one, maybe we'll utilize summary for public release notes. For field two, maybe description for public release notes. And then field three, uh, let's say issue type, right? So essentially we are mapping fields from the Jira issue to the three available fields that are going to be visible in the widget, right? Now, on the right hand side, you'll see the configuration that relates to the overall look and feel of the widget. You can obviously change it, make it more uh, seamlessly merge with your branding. So I'll leave that up to you. But the most important part is what information or rather what Jira issues should be fetched in the release notes content that will be visible in the widget. So let's modify this a little bit. We are saying project equal to project ID, fixed version equal to fixed version, or rather fixed version equal to version ID. And what I'll do is I'll add one more clause that says, and include in public release notes equal to yes. Right. So I've just modified the JQL a little bit. Now let's click on save. As soon as you save it, you'll notice the widget is saved. You'll see the success message. Now you need to get this embed code, right? So copy this embed code and you have to insert this embed code inside of your web or mobile application. Now what I've done is I've opened up JS Fiddle, where you can test out the embed code, how it looks like, right? So I'll insert the JavaScript snippet that I copied from ARN and I'll put it into the HTML box. I'll click on run. You'll notice immediately what's new. This small button has appeared in here. When I click on it, it'll expand and say no data available, which is right because we haven't inserted any release notes inside of this widget yet. Now let's switch over to the automated release notes tab and navigate to rules. In order to populate data inside of the widget that we just created, we have to create a rule, right? Let's create this rule, maybe call it dummy widget rule. Keep this as creator of rule, no problem with that. And then insert a widget action, right? No need to change the name of the action and choose the appropriate widget. That. So we have set up the trigger as manual and we have also inserted the action. Now the next step for you is to run the rule manually. Now, obviously, if you had a different trigger, the uh, rule will get triggered based on that configuration. But here we have kept it to manual. So let's pick up something 
from the list of available releases. Uh, let's try and get a released version rather. So maybe 13th of October, right? Let's click on OK. Let's look at the logs tab. Let's refresh it until we see the widget related rule listed in here. It usually takes a couple of minutes. All right, now you'll notice the dummy widget rule has appeared. Right now it's in progress. I'll refresh it. It should now be successful, right? So the rule was executed successfully. Here you'll notice 13th of October, 2025. Also, you can verify by going to the release pages and widgets tab and then looking at your widget number of releases. So we just inserted the first release. You can see that in here. Now let's go back to the JS Fiddle area, run the rule or rather run the JavaScript once again. And this time around, you'll notice the data has appeared, right? So 13th of October was the release name. Then you have the information about a specific bug that was released, its summary, its description. You can also share images and videos inside of this widget. So extremely useful to engage your customers with your newest features, newest enhancements, and keep them updated about your ongoing iterations that are going live with your product. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, do reach out to us. Thanks again.